I just want to... Someone told me that uh, um, someone told me that you should be transparent with the people that you entertain and the people that you keep company around. And I feel like I've been transparent with y'all before and I just want to uphold that because why not? Um, just got home from work. Um, just got home from work and my door to my apartment was unlocked. I had been in the process of trying to get everything together because I have a really big announcement for you guys. Uh, something really big coming up. But I guess, I guess, I guess other people have plans um, for you, I guess. Not you specifically, but I'm talking about myself in third person. Um, I'm trying to get everything in my everything in my house correct so that I can go about this correctly. But I I wanted to I didn't when I first walked into my house I didn't know what I didn't know what to what to do. I didn't know what to say. I didn't know if I should call my mom, call the police, call I didn't know what to do. Um, but I guess, you know, my mom always told me everything happens for a reason. You know, nothing happens by coincidence. Um, And I got I got home and I got home today and right here used to sit my television. So to sit my television. I don't know if you guys know, but I work at Best Buy and I love that job and I've worked there for over a year now and I I've always want my my dad my dad kind of got me into the type of person to where I like really nice things. Um I really I really do. Um and you know he's always had the motto of like, you know, you know, if you save your money, what do you save your money for to spend it? And, um, and so I, I worked really hard. I was working hours. I was actually working at Panda Express and Best Buy at the same time. And I saved up enough money to buy my TV. My TV, I got on sale. I bought my TV for $1,200. And the TV was amazing. But... It wasn't, it wasn't enough, you know, yeah, I guess, I guess just working at, at, and around electronics all the time, it makes you want, you know, the best stuff, I guess. Um, and so I had a sound bar too, and I had a sound bar previously and it was, uh, I caught, I caught a sound bar on sale. It was like $200 and I gave that one to my dad for his birthday. It was originally a $600 soundbar. And I upgraded. I I spent more I spent more money on the soundbar. So my TV was $1200 and my soundbar was $1000. So I had a home entertainment system of 
$2,200. Along with the TV stand that my, that my mom and my dad bought for me for my birthday two years ago. Um, and now it's gone. Now it's gone. So... That's just hard work that I, that's just hard work that I put in countless hours. I, I know uh, I, the only way I can put it, I told you how much the stuff was. I know that a lot of Best Buys start working you out at they start you out at around $10 an hour around where I live. So you do the math. You do the math. I mean, I've never been late on like rent payments. I always try my best to keep my credit card debt down. I just try really hard. And, you know, literally just something as simple as, you know, a door that's not all the way, you know, not a door that's just, you know, just all it needs is a, is a little bit. That's all it needs. That's all it needs. That's all it needs. So, I was planning on... I was planning on selling my TV and my sound bar so that I could afford to come out to Los Angeles. I wanted to move out to LA uh, and do videos full time for you guys. You know, work at a Best Buy out there or something. And then I had someone who wanted to pay for all of these items and that was my ticket. And now, and now tomorrow, I have to tell this person that I don't have the money. I just don't have it. Where is it? I don't know. It's in the back of somebody's truck. To the back of, of somebody's truck. Wherever it's at. So now I just don't, I don't know what to do. I put in my two weeks for my job and they filled my position already. I, the position that I'm leaving is now taken up by someone else. And the money that I was gonna use for next month's rent and the cash for me to go out to California is gone. Somebody walked in and took it. At least they left the power strip. Thanks. I have nothing to plug into it. Because I'm standing where a TV used to be. What am I supposed to do, y'all? <laughs> what am I supposed to do? <laughs> I, I have no job. <laughs> I I have no job. I got to find a new job that pays as much as my job did so that I don't li end up living in a cardboard box. 
I can't go out to Cali anymore. I have no TV. What am I supposed to do, yo? And this hurts. Like, I grew up, you know, I was born in Gary, Indiana. I don't know if you guys ever heard of Gary, Indiana. It's a, it's a city. It's a city in Northwest Indiana. It's the same place that Michael Jackson was born. And it's gotten bad. It's gotten bad. There's a lot of drugs and gang violence, just a lot of poverty. And now it's going through the process of gentrification. So a lot of those people that lived in Gary because they're too poor to live anywhere else are now being kicked out because Gary is being remodeled. Which sounds wonderful for people who want somewhere close to Chicago to live. But it's horrible for the people who are getting kicked out. Why? Because where are they supposed to live? At one point, Gary, Indiana was the murder capital of the world per capita. So per person. There was more murders per person in Gary than anywhere else. If I'm not mistaken, it was like 04, 05, or 06. It was one of those years, I believe. And Gary does not have a lot of people. But I always knew there was a reason why people steal. There's a reason why people take things from other people. You know, and it could be just simply because they don't have money. They don't have things. They never had things and they want those things or they're just trying to survive. Now I live in Terre Haute, Indiana, where debatably there's a same level of, I guess, intensity when it comes to I'm kicking pieces of a TV stand that used to be here is a comparable level of poverty, drug use. You know, I've gotten my car broken into two times since I've lived in Terre Haute and I lived in the nice hit neighborhoods. So someone in Terre Haute has come up on around $2,500. That's $2,500 that I can never get back, ever. That's $2,500 that I won't be able to use to move out to Cali, pay my bills, or pay my mom back because she's the one who funds my college education. She took out the loans because I didn't have the credit for it and I pay her back semester by semester. I pay her and the foolish money that I spent, I then had a plan to get it back. I was, I was in there. I was that close. And now, and now you guys are sitting here wondering how did I get tricked? Cause I didn't get, I didn't get my TV stolen. Are you serious? Hell no, nah. no. Nah, we like I do it faithfully. Nah, but I sold my TV, man. I sold my TV, my soundbar, and my and my TV stand, man. All right, man, and I feel wonderful, dog, cause I can do whatever I want with that money. Hey, quick announcement: I'm about to start vlogging every single day, as well as doing comedy spheres. Hey, sorry for being gone for so long, y'all, man. I really did have some family issues. Uh, I want you guys to please send prayers out to my grandma, man. My grandma, actually both of my grandmas on my, on my mom's side and my dad's side are both recovering right now from hospital visits. Uh, my grandma broke her leg and my other grandma had a uh, seizure very recently. And so I've been, I've been offline. I've been, I've been very isolated. Um, but man, I'm back and, and man, it's never been better. I've never felt better in my entire life. Go follow me on Instagram. Something big coming up February, early February. Watch out. I'm telling you, when you guys see, look, remember every time I told y'all, ooh, remember every time I told you guys, I was like, look, I really want to tell you something, but at the same time, I can't tell you, February, be ready.